Dr. Susan Jameson is a member of the Australian College of Nutritional and Environmental Medicine, Scotland and Harvard trained. Dr. Jameson is Hong Kong's most experienced expat family doctor with 26 years experience in Hong Kong and a wealth of knowledge in the areas commonly affecting busy expat lives, especially in the areas of stress. She is also a specialist in integrative health founding the integrative medical practice, right? To combine the very best of Western and Eastern therapy. So stress is one of my big things, as I've said, and stress is the, the fight or flight situation. The, and this is something that all doctors can work with and help, and they can all do it, the naturopath, the GP, the cardiologist especially, and the Chinese medicine doctors, they all see patients with stress and they can all help with this. Because stress is endemic in our society and it's very dangerous. I'm going to talk about it in greater depth because 80% of my patients have their illness influenced by stress. At least 20% who are relaxed, by the way. They're my favorites. 20% who are happy and come in and cheer me up. So the adrenal glands, the adrenals in our back beside our kidneys, adrenal means above the renal glands, produce cortisol and adrenaline, the fight or flight hormones that are meant to make us run. Our bodies haven't changed in 40,000 years since we developed our prefrontal lobes that can help us think. So it's unfortunate that um, you know we have this ancient physiology running in us that really isn't helpful. We increases our pulse rate, makes us breathe abnormally. So when we have these hormones flooding through our body, on a cellular level, all repair and regeneration stops. So with the stress hormones, the, the body's supposed to be primed to fight or flight. It has no energy, no time for anti-aging, regeneration, or repair work. That's frightening, that's very frightening. And it's one of the reasons stress leads to cancer. It's a simple biological fact. And the, apart from depleting our immune system, which has been proven, our immune activity will be reduced. And as you know, we all have cancer cells running through our body all the time. I mean, that's just normal for us, abnormal cells. Our immune system does a fantastic job at mopping them up. So we don't need it depleted. And we don't need these stress hormones that means that our cells can't repair. I'm very into staying young and anti-aging, mentally, physically, aren't we all? and I want my cells to repair beautifully. I'm going to give you another patient example, and this is one of my favorite patients, Mark, who's another 40-year-old banker, because I live in Hong Kong and they're all bankers. <laughs> and recently, he's had a lot of colds and newly developed asthma. So this is a typical Hong Kong problem. People say, oh, it's just the pollution, the pollution's blamed on everything, and that's, partially true. That may be a tiny, tiny little bit of truth in that. Certainly doesn't help breathing in all that particulate matter. However, he's getting much more colds, much more upper respiratory infections than normal. So we, we look at his life and as usual he's flying around, he's working long hours. We look at his stress levels, which are big. He's young and he can cope with stress quite well, but he's not sleeping very well at the moment. They just moved from London, the family. The wife's not coping, so not only does he fly around the world, but he has, hasn't really got support from his wife because she's having to deal with the kids going to new schools and having their health problems. So he's got no support. He's working very hard. He's not sleeping. We look at his um, diet, his caffeine intake, but these are vital to this man's health because we know um, from studies, the American Medical Association tells us that 80% of family doctor consults are related to stress. We know this, we know this to be a fact. So this is something we've really got to home in on and work on. I noticed on treating Mark that he was complaining about his asthma and he'd been given inhaler medications by other doctors, but like a lot of patients, he said, you know, they're not really working. I don't quite feel they're working enough. And I noticed he was breathing very badly. He was really hyperventilating. I do a lot of work with breath. So I noticed this about him. And we did some breathing exercises. And I gave him very simple instructions. I knew he was a busy man. I said, I'd like you to do three minutes three times a day. But please just do three minutes three times a day. 
and let's just experiment with reducing your inhaler dose slightly. So an example of someone who didn't need the medication, the asthma, wasn't a real illness. It, it was a manifestation of not breathing properly and of huge stress.